Hey guys, welcome back to my Animal Adventures YouTube channel. And in this video, I want to continue the feeding frenzy that Lucy is in. She is my 50 pound albino reticulated python. And I paired her up getting ready to breed her. And let me show you the male that I paired her up with. He is a super dwarf, dwarf mix. And he's another reticulated python. He's in deep shed, so he's kind of grumpy. And as soon as he comes out of the shed, I'm sure he'll be pounding some rats too. And hopefully, within uh, uh, probably six or seven months, if these guys successfully breed, I'll have some eggs from these guys. And then a retic the size of Lucy can probably have between 40 and 50 eggs, believe it or not. And that's a lot of reticulated pythons to unload. And I'll definitely have some for sale at the show. So let me show you her feeding frenzy. See, it seems like once you pair them up, they go into that feeding mode. And it's really important to get as many rats as possible into a female that's going into the breeding mode. Because as soon as she starts developing eggs inside of her, she'll go on a fast. And she'll stop eating for probably six or seven months while those eggs are developing and as soon as she lays eggs it's a, probably another month before she goes back on food so it's really important that we get a lot of rats in here and let me tell you a big reticulated python like that in a crazed feeding mode is extremely dangerous you really have to watch yourself and it's really exciting too <laughs> and, it, it, and she is such a beautiful snake I could just watch her all day her antics and it's it's pretty amazing. So let me show you Lucy and we'll feed her a few rats. All right guys, check it out. I'm getting ready to feed Lucy her seventh jumbo rat in just two days. She's looking for another rat and I think she'll definitely, definitely take it. <laughs> She's getting a little feed crazy. Hopefully I won't run into any problems here. <laughs> she grabbed that thing like crazy. Whew. All right, guys, take a look at this crazy snake. She's had seven rats in two days, and I came down, and she was striking the glass, <laughs> trying to get another rat. I can't believe it. I'm going to have to give her her eighth jumbo rat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, guys, so I have another triple extra large rat here, and I'm almost afraid to open this glass because <laughs> she is in such a crazed feeding mode. Maybe if I can get her down to this end <laughs> and throw the rat on the other end. These retics, they can lunge a long ways and it kind of freaks me out. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was crazy right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's on top of it. She really can't see it. Wow. Whew. I don't know what's gotten into this girl. I haven't seen her feed like this since she was a young snake. <laughs> She's looking for it. <laughs> she can smell it. And she just can't find it because she's sitting on top of it. Oh, I think she's going to find it now. <laughs> That's one crazy snake. Can't seem to figure it out. I think she's looking for the head and she's got the tail and typically they can't eat them tail first the heads she's laying on the head <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's kind of hilarious. She needs to come down here a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to lock this glass. It's a good thing this glass is thick. <laughs> Has to stand up to big old retic smashing against it. She was really hitting it hard. I'm surprised she didn't mess up her face. She needs to come down this way. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. I could reach my hand in there and move it, but I'd probably take a bite. She is a really big girl, too. She's definitely getting full of rats. I can't believe it. <laughs> I've never seen her take quite that long before. It's kind of interesting, actually. Now I think she's figuring it out. <laughs> I've seen her try to eat them tail first, and she she works at it for like maybe five minutes, and then gives up and has to flip them around. I think she's learning that definitely does not work tail first. <laughs> All right, I just came down here, and it looked like Lucy was sleeping, and I turned her lights up a little bit. I don't know if she'll eat another rat, maybe her tenth rat. Maybe. She looks like she's in the hunting mode. I can't believe how many rats she's eaten. It's unbelievable. <laughs> maybe if I move the glass a little, maybe uh, she'll let me know. Well, hmm, maybe. <laughs> I can't believe she could fit that many rats in her. I think she could eat one more, maybe. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Alright, so I have another rat all prepared. This will be her 10th Jumbo Extra, Triple Extra Large Rat. And this is a little too close for comfort for me, for, the, for her to be by the glass here. But let's see if I can, if I can sneak it in there without getting bit. <laughs> Well, see if she'll take that last rat. <laughs> she didn't see me throw it in there. She kind of missed it. And you can tell, you can definitely tell by her body condition that she, <laughs> I'm going to definitely cut her off on this one. See if she'll actually take that tenth rat.
She's thinking about it. Yeah, it looks like she'll go for it. And I've seen some reticulated pythons that get to the point where they're really gentle taking rats. And it seems like the more you feed them, the gentle, the gentler they are feeding. And if they're really hungry, they just go really bonkers over those rats. She almost looks like a cobra from this angle. <laughs> She's thinking about it. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. I think she's going to take it. <laughs> but if you look at her body condition, look at how plump she is. That is pretty incredible. And I think she will definitely lay some eggs this season. Yep, she's definitely going to take it. Okay, so there you have it. I am definitely cutting Lucy off at 10 triple extra large rats. I can't even believe she took 10. It's pretty amazing. And I actually have quite a few more. And I'm retiring all my old breeders. And I have quite a few that are really really old so these males are pretty much at the end of their life and if I don't either pop them in the freezer or feed them to a snake they almost certainly won't last probably more than a month or two because they are really old so hopefully it looks really good as far as the breeding season so what I'll do now is I'll probably give her a week off and then clean her cage reintroduce the male and hopefully if they breed then in about six or seven months we'll have a huge clutch of eggs so thanks for watching and i will see you next time